Recently, I've been very interested with the countries of the world and where they are on the map. I've always been interested in geography, even as a little as a little guppy. I think that my knowledge of the countries and where they are and geography in general has always been above average, uh, just because I've had an interest in it. But yeah, recently that interest has really uh, has really jumped up to new heights. Uh, and so here we are. I wanted to make this because there are people uh, who have just no idea where anything is on a map. Uh, like country, like they can't even name one country. Have you seen those Jimmy Kimmel videos where he's like, hey, uh, can you name a country? I believe that's Africa, <laughs> Russia. No, nope, that's China. Europe. Right. Where's Europe? It's not like it goes into a, a, a young child's classroom and is like, hey, show me where Burma is. And then they, they can't do it. It's like, well, no, show where Burma is, Jimmy. The only thing I know with Burma, about Burma is that this morning I burned my tongue on my, on my hot chocolate. <laughs> a very common misconception here is that Australia is the only country in the continent of Australia. And it's not. There are 14 countries there. All right, New Zealand's one of them. Papua New Guinea is one of them. You've probably heard of Fiji uh, and Samoa. You've heard of all those, maybe? Australia is a country in the continent of Australia. It's a little less confusing to call it Oceania. And it's a lot more fun to say Oceania, just like the word guts. You ever said that word? Guts? Say it right now. Any questions? No? Okay. If you look at the news at all, you probably know that Australia was recently ablaze. Almost the entire flipping country uh, was on fire. And now it's not, I don't think, uh, but now it's also ridden with disease, like the rest of the world. So Australia is doing real well in 2020. Let's move now up the ladder. Let's climb it. Ready like this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey guys, just climbing the ladder. Don't worry about me. That was fucking dumb. We're in Asia. Let's play some Asian music to set the mood for this entire segment of Asia. Welcome to Asia. <laughs> one of the big players in Asia, I'm sure we all know, China, okay, another one, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Russia, India. We all know about those big countries in Asia, okay? Those are the big ones, the big, the big cahoots. China has the biggest population in the world with 1.6 billion or something like that. Here it is now, that's what it is. I haven't been keeping up to speed. India also second with 1.1 bill. So a lot of people over there. One of the first things I ever learned was there are a lot of people in Asia. I woke up one morning when I was two or three and said, hey dad, what's for breakfast? And he said, you know son, there's a lot of Asians. And I said, well, that's just about the first thing I've ever learned, dad. And then we had breakfast and it was great. And that was all a lie, obviously. Um, but there's a lot of Asians. I like to split Asia into two or three sections. Uh, you know, the, the real, the real boys, okay, we'll call, we'll call China, India, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Cambodia, Indonesia, Singapore, Brunei, Bhutan, Nepal, where Mount Everest is, and it sounds like nipples, what a country. The second section in Asia are the stands, all right, there's seven of them. We've got Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Let's not forget the K-pop stands. <laughs> I'm not really big into that old, all that lore uh, because it's you know it seems to be a little little toxic, a little too toxic for all for my my pretty little feet. And boy, they're pretty. <laughs> so I don't step foot in there, do I? Just to the west of the stands, we have the Middle East. The, the, the Middle East is is for lack of a better word term war torn. A lot of war goes on there in the Middle East. A lot of stuff going on. All right. You ever heard of jokes? I was like, huh. Oh, well, I'll date you when you smooth out the Middle East. It's because there's a lot of, you know, like a lot of conflict going on there. Maybe there's some good stuff going on in the Middle East. I don't know. Again, I, can't, I don't know if you're from the Middle East and you're living a good one, then, um, you know, good, good on you. Good on you, mate. But if you're from the Middle East and you're living a bad one, uh, not good on you. Have you ever heard of a place called Paris? You've seen the Eiffel Tower? You know, if you're a love boat, you know, the lo love boat, little smoochy smoochy. Valentine's Day coming up, just 11 months, 11 months away. Spain's there, uh, and you've also got Portugal right next to that. Great spots of culture, lots of good art there, okay? Lots of good stuff. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, but there's the, the countries are, some of them are way too small, aren't they? Countries like Monaco and Andorra, and Liechtenstein, and Luxembourg, and San Marino, and Vatican City, like the size of cities. And they're just countries, like fuck what? Maybe you know about Germany, okay, that's a country. Poland, 
uh, right next to it. Um, the recent, uh, you know, a couple, you know, 60, 70 years ago, they weren't the best of friends. Okay, it's over here, but now we'll make it the full size of the screen. Ready? Fwah! I'm in there. And so are, so is 50% of my audience. So, well, here you are. Welcome to North, well, welcome home. Canada, for example, has 13 provinces and territories, okay? Newfoundland and Labrador, where I am, is a province, as is Nova Scotia, Quebec, Ontario. A very common misconception with North America is that it only consists of three countries, Canada, the United States, and Mexico. That's not true, it consists of 23. <laughs> Sometime in your life, you've probably heard of the Amazon rainforest. It's the biggest one in the world, and that's in South America. And this is what, this is where it is. Right there. See that? It's mostly in Brazil. But I don't know what other countries it's also in. It might all be in Brazil. I don't think it is, though. It's probably in parts of Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay. I don't, I don't know if it's in Uruguay or Argentina or, or not. But there it is. Do we have any questions yet, actually? In the back, yeah, yeah. Yes, I was a model before this, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, teaching is something that I kind of just, you know, happened into. I I've, I've still have contracts for um, male sex work. Uh, yeah. What the f am I saying? My grandparents watch this. That's all you can do, hey? <laughs> Got a silly grandson. It is a monstrosity. Look at how big Africa is compared to all the other Countries, look Look at how much you could fit inside of Africa. Look at this. A big misconception with Africa, and I'll admit to this, I didn't really know this until like I was in high school. Uh, Africa, not all dirt, grass, and sand. Africa has cities like, like Cairo, or Casablanca, or Lagos, or Johannesburg, and Cape Town, and Pretoria down there in South Africa. People are living well there. All right, a lot, now certainly, certainly a lot of folks not living well there. Certainly a lot of poverty in Africa. Certainly a lot of dirt, grass, and sand in Africa. Okay, you've heard of the Sahara Desert. That's over there in Western Africa. All right, maybe it takes up more of it as well. Maybe it goes in the more, in more in the middle too. I don't know where it is. You've heard of the movie Madagascar? Well, there's an island called Madagascar. You probably knew that. If someone's like, let's try to name all the countries in Africa. You're like, ha, huh, I've got one, Madagascar. <laughs> We're off to a blazing start now. 53 left, good luck. South Africa, that's one, and you're stuck, okay? Let's rhyme a few off for old time's sake, okay? Namibia, Botswana, Gambia, Ghana, Gabon, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, you a fan of Apex Legends? Mozambique, yeah. Laying some cover for my brothers. Um, yeah, that's it, that's all, that, well, with the, Antarctica. How could I have forgotten uh, about Antarctica, okay? Is Antarctica a country? No. Is it owned by any country? No. There's a lot of science going on there. A lot of cold. Uh, a lot of penguins. A lot of sea lions. A lot of fun happening down there, I'm sure, down there in Antarctica. Very cold. Um, said that before. Why am I hicc hiccuping? Hipp hippicking. Shut up, Matt. Idiot. I have nothing else to tell you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first video of mine that you've watched, or if you've watched a few and, and haven't hit that red subscribe button down there yet, uh, go ahead and do that, you know? That'd be, that'd be really cool, I'd really appreciate it, or at least consider doing it. This was all for, for, for goofs, for, for goofs and gags. You know, if you didn't know these things, that's fine. Hopefully you learned something. If you did know them, that's also great. Hopefully you maybe learned something too. Maybe there's something, a little giblet, a little nugget you learned in there. Nugget's a fun word to say, but yeah, that's it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching again. Uh, take care. Comb your hair. I'll see you soon. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me?